<laughs> oh. Well, hello, my friends. I didn't even see you. How are you doing? Welcome to the Pflugerville Library. We have a show for you, and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> right this way. Oh. I forgot to mention, I was so excited to come see you guys. I, I, I got all my toys ready. I got all dressed. I drove as fast as I could. I was so excited to see you. <laughs> I forgot to eat my breakfast. But I have brought my very own delicious circus <laughs> pizza. This is pizza number one. I will now deliver this special delivery like so. And whoa, 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 whoa. That's a hot pizza. <laughs> Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And that is pizza number one. Mm -hmm. Over here is pizza number, you guessed it, two. One right here. And uh, let me just straighten that. that, that Whoa. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hi. -yup. Whoa. Now we are ready for a three course meal of entertainment. <laughs> one right here. What? Uh, what the? Uh, one. Uh, 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 you know what? Let's just try that pizza hand tossed. Woo! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And that was my breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. I have something here to show you. Right here, I have three ropes the exact same size. See these little ropes? Beautiful. One right here, and another one here. <laughs> See, they could be twins, they look just the same. And another one right, oh, oh, oh. I think they were the same. Okay, hmm. we have a little bitty rope, a little medium rope, and a little big rope. Let's match up the ends. Little bitty to little bitty, little medium to little medium, and little big to little big. And now, with a little muscular power, I'll go, and like I said, the three ropes are the same times. We have one, mm -hmm, two, and three. And that is my magic rope. Now, you may have noticed my cabinet over here. This box contains rare and unusual items that you may not have seen. Now, I would like to present first a lovely bouquet of roses. That's not a bouquet of roses. <laughs> Let's pick a rose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa. Well, let me so. <laughs> there we go. Try that again. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. Now, I have something else over here. Something rare and unusual. Moms and dads, I know you've been looking and looking for this, but I am in possession of that rare item. Yes, those rolls of paper we've all been searching for, I have not one, <laughs> not two, but yes, three rolls of paper right over here. Now here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A drum roll, please. That sounds like synthesizers, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Thank you! There we go. And now, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, <laughs> Thank 
you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, now you've seen me juggle three big round pizzas, three little bitty plungers, three rolls of paper. Speaking of three, what do you see right over here? <laughs> hangers. Three hangers. Do y'all see my three hangers right here? <laughs> that, you, who said that? Who's, who said four? No, 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 there's not four. There's three. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Three. Four. Uh, <laughs> They're multiplying. <laughs> I started out with two paper clips. <laughs> uh, well, you all got some of these at home, right? And aren't these the strangest things? Look how they're built. I mean, it's like they're made to get hooked on each other, right? And sometimes, like one time I was late for school and I put my hand in the closet too fast. I wore the hanger on my arm all day. And, but you wanna know what's really weird about these? Sometimes, if you just, even if you just keep them in the closet and don't do anything to them, they get so tangled up, it almost looks like they're stuck together. But that's imp that, 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 that's impossible. But what, that can't happen. Uh, do, do, do you know why that can't happen? Because it's impossible. <laughs> uh, hmm. I have an. I think I know what's going on. I think I have an idea. See, each of these hangers has to have a soft spot, right? Maybe it's got a little hole. So now maybe the soft spot is on the top. Maybe it's down here. Maybe it's where it bends. So let's just rub those soft spots together and then, and the, and the um, <laughs> this happened to you, hasn't it? Boy, I know, you know, it happened to me all the time. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try something here. I think if I take the hanger and slide it all the way to the end, if I do it fast enough, It'll break through the soft spot. It'll go 100 miles an hour, and the nice man behind the camera is going to catch. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> try again, try again. One, two, three. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, now the boat, that can't be. This is a Huh? <laughs> Uh, it's okay, I can, um, I can straighten everything out. <laughs> Straight! <laughs> I'll save the jokes for Colbert. I'll tell you what, we have a mess. Let's take all four hangers and just make them go three on one. <laughs> or more amazing than three on one? One on three! <laughs> Not so amazing, huh? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's see, if I take a hanger, if I hit it really hard, do you think I can make it come loose? Let's see, no, no. There we go, one down. Let's get the other two loose. Okay, here we go, we got it, we got it, we got it! We get the do 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 Let's be very careful. Ooh, like the wings of a butterfly. Like a twinkling star. They part like dreams upon awakening. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> my bad. They're backwards. Try it again. Like the wings of a butterfly. Like a twinkling star. They part like dreams. <laughs> um. I think I'm in trouble. Uh, do some of you guys at home know a magic word? Let's think of a good magic word. Like, what's it? Somebody said please, I like that. Your mama raised you right. And, oh, you, abracadabra, that's a good one. Tell you what, boys and girls at home, can you help me? Everybody put your hand in the air. Now make a fist, we'll roll it around and we'll say abracadabra. Got that? One more time. Abracadabra. Have to do that at the end. It shows good breathing in class. Now, when I count to three, what do we say? Abracadabra. Awesome. Oh, like the wings of a butterfly. Like a twinkling star. 
One, two, three. Abracadabra! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. You're too kind. You're way too kind. And that's why I like you. <laughs> now let me see. I get oh, I have another rare item for you right over here. Now this is something moms and dads know about, but boys and girls, you may never have seen one of these. It's so rare these days. What do you see right here? <laughs> A newspaper. Now, newspapers, if you haven't seen one of these, before cell phones and the internet, this is how you learn what was going on in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Everybody read the paper every day, kind of like surfing the web, huh? Except a little bigger. Now, they used to have an expression. They'd say, don't believe everything you read in the paper. <laughs> but it's true. You have to think for yourself. Don't believe everything you read. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. And I'll show you what I mean. Watch carefully and tell me, what do you think you see me doing now? Tearing the paper, no, 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 no. It's all right here. It's just a little skinnier than they used to be. Now, watch carefully again. What do you think you see me doing? Tearing the paper, no, 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 it's all right here. It's just getting skinnier. Now, don't believe everything you hear either. Listen, listen. What does it sound like I'm doing now? Hmm? Tearing the paper, oh my goodness, no. Now, I could probably tear a dictionary in half if it, if it didn't have so many darn words. <laughs> So let me see Got that there. And now our newspaper is just about the same size as a cell phone. And we can go just like that. And you know what that shows? It shows that the more things change, <laughs> the more they remain the same. And that is my magic paper. And like I said, don't believe everything you see. Don't believe everything you read. And most of all, don't believe me. <laughs> believe me. <laughs> okay. Well, you saw those little ropes I had, right? Check this out. Over here, I have one big, what that, that two big rope. Oh, that's a lot of rope, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> well, you know what? See, I can make a belt with this, right? I can put it, up, I can put it, up. <laughs> maybe that's not so, I, don't, I have a better idea. I'll tie it from the back. There we go. So now I have a belt and I, I have a, hmm. Okay, tie the belt and now I'll make it nice and tight. And <laughs> I must have been on some kind of diet, I'm telling you. Whoa, my goodness gracious. Whew. So much for the rope. So much for the rope. <laughs> Got another rope, huh? Well, this one, do you see this rope? This is a baby rope. It's never done a trick before. So you know what? Let's do something very easy. Now, what do you think is the easiest thing you can do with a rope? Hmm? Tie a knot. So we'll tie one knot right here. And I'll take the, I'll, I forgot to tie the knot. Okay, we'll tie the knot. Hmm. I know what happened. Those knots are tricky. They're very tricky. You know what? So, I think if I take the rope like this, I can catch the knot. I think it's right there, right there we go. Got the knot. Or you can tie a knot with one hand. Check it out, check it out. One hand over here. Now, um, I know it's not good to cheat, is it? So just so I can't cheat, I'm gonna put the other hand behind my back because it's behind my back, I can't cheat, right? Right, so one hand is behind my back and I'll tie a knot, what are you looking at? What, 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 Okay, Pflugerville kids are too smart for me, I'll tell you what, since you're so smart, I'll untie the knot, I'll put one hand over here, and this time I'll put the hand where everybody can see on my head. <laughs> and a knot over 
a knot over here. Whoa, 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 I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Now, let's just see if we can get one more, one more knot, just like that. There we go, but you know what? Enough ropes, enough ropes. Let's see. Let's get rid of those ropes and then we, we get rid of, well, <laughs> okay, a little bitty rope. It's just a tiny rope, it won't hurt anything, right? So we have one tiny little rope. <laughs> tiny, well, I thought it was tiny rope. Oh, one tiny rope and then. <laughs> what? That's a lot of rope. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, um, did you did, well, hold on. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming, okay. Coming from there. Let's get rid of the rope. I guess I forgot to take my clothes off the clothesline when I was drying them. So, we'll just get rid of the... Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, we'll put that there. Uh, okay, there it goes. Okay, let's get that rope. Come over here. And then, let me see. Here we go. Okay, come on. It's coming, it's coming. There we go. Almost done, almost done. And the Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, let me. There we go. Okay, got the rope, and then. <laughs> Enough rope, no more rope. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of rope. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Let's go like that. And then we go. Oh my goodness. A portal to another world. Oh. Scary stuff, kids. Now let's take our rope and. Uh, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> let's check this out. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait a minute. I have a better idea. I have something over here. Now, moms and dads, when you were little kids, did any of you ever have braces on your teeth? I did. Remember retainers? Remember headgear? Braces on the outside, right? I had some of those. I didn't like them. But I had an idea. I said, what about musical headgear? Now, Let's try this. <laughs> okay. Exhausting. <laughs> Tell you what, I, I need a little, little break right here. I have something over here. It's a drink, a bottle of every Texan's favorite soft drink. I'm going to be nice, tall, cool, refreshing bottle of Dr. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Soda. <laughs> I thought it was a soft drink. Um, <laughs> I guess I got that backwards, huh? <laughs> it's French fries and ketchup. Oh, I know. Since I got that backwards, let's do some backwards magic. Mm -hmm. I will take the french fries and the ketchup and make them trade places and I won't touch them with my hands. Instead, I'll use two empty tubes. I'll show you what I mean. Tube number one goes over here. There we go. 
empty tube number two. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> sometimes the glass of the bottles break. So you always have to have a spare bottle. So we have our french fries and ketchup. I'll say abracadabra. Now, check it out, check it out. Um, yeah, yeah, the ketchup's over here and um, the french fries are over here. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty, whoa. Oh, well that was the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back where they started. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you, watch this. Abracadabra. Now check it out, check it out. The french fries and the ketchup are back in the same, the same, you're not impressed, are you? Oh, I see. Computer generation, you guys are smart. I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet you were expecting something like this, right? I'll bet you were expecting something like that and that, right? <laughs> but that's the easy part. Anybody can do that. The hard part is to go like that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, would you guys like to know the secret? Okay, don't tell anybody, but here's the secret. You take, first, you take one, empty tube, right? You place it over here. You take your second empty, uh, um, uh, spare bottles, right? Okay, so you have one over here and one over here, and then you say abracadabra, and then you have the ketchup and the french fries. Now, one more time in case you missed it. Empty tube, right? Over here. Empty tube. Uh, uh, okay. A lot of times those bottles break, you have to have a spare. So we have the ketchup and the french fries. We say abracadabra. And now we have the french fries and the ketchup. So uh, maybe it'd be easier if we just do one at a time. So we'll say abracadabra and cadabra abra. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Yes, they're not real. The secrets of showbiz. <laughs> so now, we'll, okay, we'll say abracadabra and cadabra abra. And the, 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 the okay, uh, abracadabra. And then, oh, I forgot this one. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, if I'm gonna have all that ketchup and a hot dog, I would at least have to have a little bit of relish and a little bit of mustard. But if I ate all those ketchups and hot dogs and relish and mustard, I'd have such a tummy ache. I'd have to have a whole bottle of tummy ache medicine, Pepto-Bismol. And that is the Bonzo Crunch Juggling and Magic Show. Thank you very much. Now, you've just seen a clown. You've seen juggling. You've seen magic. You've seen circus skills. Would you like to know how you can learn those things? At the library. At the library, you can learn anything you want to learn. You can learn how clowns put on their makeup. You can learn the secrets of magic. You can also learn about outer space and inner earth and history. And maybe even you can learn enough that you can make the future. So I hope you all come to the library. But before you do that, I have something over here to show you. You see this here? These are books from my personal book collection. Now, some of these are in the library. But back at my clown house in Austin, I have so many books. I have two bookshelves this big full of books of circus and clowns and juggling and magic and two more bookshelves this big full of all sorts of other stuff. Because even silly clowns like to read. In fact, I'm going to read you one of my favorite children's books about the circus. Do you see this book here? That says Olivia. Olivia is a little pig. And the book is called Olivia Saves the Circus. Let's have a seat. We'll read a book. Now, here is one of my favorite circus stories 
Olivia saves the circus. So let's all get ready. I'll get ready by putting on my reading glasses. <laughs> and you guys can get ready by putting your hands in your lap. Now, open your eyes, open your ears, open your mind, close your mouth. <laughs> Put your hands back in your lap. You guys are awesome. This is how Olivia saved the circus. Before school, Olivia likes to make pancakes for her new little brother William and her old little brother Ian. This is a big help to her mama. And I'll bet a lot of you guys help your mama too, don't you? Because you're good kids. Well, after a nice big breakfast, it's time to get dressed. But Olivia has to wear this really boring uniform. But that's okay, because you can always accessorize. And accessorize is a big word that means add extra things, like hair ribbons. Can you guys say accessorize? Very good. Beep, beep, coming through. And today it's Olivia's turn to tell her class about her vacation. Olivia always blossoms in front of an audience. And blossom is a new word that means open up like a flower. Like you all are blossoming. One day, my mother took Ian and me to the circus, she begins. But William couldn't come because he still has to nap. But when we got there, all the performers were sick with ear infections. I'd hate to see an elephant with an ear infection, wouldn't you? Well, luckily, I knew how to do everything. <laughs> That's what Olivia said. Let's see what she could do. I was Olivia, the tattooed lady, but I just drew them on with a marker. Water soluble. And I was Olivia, the lion trainer. <gasps> Ooh. And I was Olivia, the tightrope walker. And I walked on stilts and juggled. I was Olivia, the clown. I rode a unicycle. I was even Olivia, the queen of the trampoline. Uh, no, I was a flying Olivia. That's a trapeze. This is Olivia, the queen of the trampoline. And what does a trampoline make you do? Boing, 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 bounce, bounce, bounce. And now, for the grand finale, Madame Olivia and her trained dogs. Uh, but, but look at that dog. He's asleep, isn't he? And that is how I saved the circus. And then my daddy took me sailing the end. Well, boys and girls, do you think Olivia's teacher believed her? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what her teacher said. Was that true, Olivia? said her teacher. Oh, pretty true, said Olivia. Was it all true? <laughs> pretty all true. <laughs> Are you sure, Olivia? Um, to the best of my recollection. <laughs> and then gracefully, Olivia heads home. But is that graceful to you? No way, Jose, but you know what? I bet if you're a pig, it's pretty graceful. Well, now she's at home, and who do you think that is? That's right, it's her mom. Let's listen and see what Mama has to say. How was school today, darling? said her mother. Okay, said Olivia. Can you believe some boys and girls talk to their mama that way? Mm, mm, mm. It's bedtime, but of course Olivia is not at all sleepy. Do some of you guys like to stay up behind bed past bedtime? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, Mama wants her to go to bed. Good night, Olivia, said her mother. Good night, Mommy. Shh. Go to sleep, Olivia. I am asleep. <laughs> then close your eyes. They are closed. <laughs> and remember, Olivia, no jumping. Okay, Mommy. But what do you think she did? Mm -hmm. 
jump, 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 jump. Oh, Leo! I said no jumping. Who do you think you are? The queen of the trampoline? And Olivia didn't say a word. But in her mind, she thought, maybe. And then Olivia went to sleep and she had circus dreams and so can you. The end. Now, boys and girls, do you like Olivia? Do you want to know where you can find more Olivia stories? At the library. So, what I want you to do is come to the Pflugerville Library and I want everybody to see if you can find one or two or three or five or even more books that you've never read before. And just to help you out, if you come to the Pflugerville Library and check out a book, we have Bonzo Crunch bookmarks. And on the back is a stack of numbers. It, just like the numbers on the books in the library. It's called the Dewey Decimal System. And that, plus your friendly librarian, will make it easier for you to find books. So come to the library, get a Bonzo Crunch bookmark, and remember, always read a little bit every day. And boys and girls, thank you for coming to the show, and I'll see you the next time I look at you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Toodaloo.